We were doing a standard night transect. We just walk in the trails, we walk along slowly, and we heard a scrabbling in the leaf litter. And we looked over and we saw uh, the tarantula on top of the possum. And we just sort of sat and watched that observation until the tarantula got tired of us and walked away. The tarantula is about the size of a dinner plate. We see big spiders a lot when we're out at night. When we see them eating something, it's usually a large katydid or a small frog. So finding a spider eating another mammal was very unexpected. It is the most biodiverse ecosystem on the planet. This is a location in southern Peru in the, in the uh, lowland Amazonian rainforest that we've been studying for the past few years. One of the coolest things about working in Peru is the sheer number of species that you encounter every day. It's hard to access, and the environment itself is a very challenging one to work in. A lowland rainforest is very dense with vegetation, a lot of species are, are hard to find. We do surveys uh, during the day and also at night, and most of the observations that we report were done at night because that's when you know, most frogs are out, many lizards are out, and a lot of spiders and other invertebrates are active. We documented a lot of, uh, number of predation events like predator-prey interactions, and that's a common ecological interaction that happens everywhere. I've seen several centipede on snake attacks. I've witnessed all of the flies emerging from frogs, including having a frog die in my hand and then a maggot emerge from its mouth after it had eaten the frog from the inside out. I have not reached a level of being grossed out yet. We'll see what else Peru has to offer.